Okay. Good morning and welcome to our series of lectures on understanding Higgs mechanism. So, the last lectures we discovered, uh, we worked out for Lagrangian for the field phi, scalar field phi, which is called this field. We have the Lagrangian for this field as del mu uh, minus 1 by 2 square phi square plus 1 by 4 lambda phi of cos Where we have this, this was our kinetic energy. This is the potential energy part of the field phi and this is the potential due to the interaction of the field with itself. So this is all right, we have done all this. And then we considered that this phi is actually uh, not a simple number. It's, a, it's not a real number, it's a complex number. So it is phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 and phi star conjugate of this will be phi 1. Oh, sorry, phi, phi 2. And if you write <coughs> in terms of the conjugate numbers, this Lagrangian like will become 1 by 2 del mu phi del mu phi star conjugate of this minus 1 by 2 mu square phi phi star plus 1 by 4 lambda phi phi star also. This we have done and we have uh, <coughs> found the uh, meaning of all this. Now we will discuss today this mathematical portion. The understanding of these we have discussed in the previous classes. The previous class we will do that in this. In <coughs> now, uh, any complex number can be written in terms in polar quadrants also. So, in polar quadrants, this phi, the, the radius of this, and the power. I omega, omega is the angle. Because we know that in a complex plane, that's x combined, this is the imaginary, any straight line, any vector r in this complex plane can be written as this component plus this component. Now r can be written as x y plus y j. <coughs> and r is, x is r cos theta plus r sin theta mm. <coughs> yeah. so it's a ith component is say so this is okay uh, now it's also, it's also this is or oh, unit vector say you write it as e one e find that r is cos theta plus i sin theta. It should take the magnitude. It's, 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 not this one. it's r cos theta plus i sin theta. This is nothing but the eco power. So, more r can turn as, so this you know, these things you know. So, so <coughs> Theta uh, phi can be written as uh, radius e to i omega and phi star can be written as e power minus i omega. So the, in terms of polar quadrants, this can now if you <coughs> this can also be written because we know that phi phi star 
gives you 5 square So it will again this value. And if you multiply this, you will get the same result. So <coughs> now I uh, writing in terms of polar coordinates, this will be called a rho times a rho is the radial, radius uh, e power i omega and d omega rho times e power minus i omega because star now it's here 1 by 2 minus square 5 is simply rho square because you multiply these two so the rho square these will be e power, e power i omega plus minus e power minus i omega this will become e power 0 that will be 1 so it's and here again you will have 1 by 4 lambda lambda Del mu is both on these, so this will be differentiate. This differentiate both. This differentiate both. Mu is the indices, indices we know, and mu is equal to zero, one, two, three. Zero corresponds to time. One, two, three is to space. So its derivative of with respect to space and time is also the derivative with respect to space and time. So it will be if you take the derivative, this will be uh, e to power i omega. Take this as a constant. Differentiate this plus. Now this as a constant, and if you differentiate this, this will be i times mm, e to power i omega. Delta mu. And again, this part uh, about r omega d mu rho and here it will be minus sign, so it will be i rho e to power i omega d mu omega. This part omega is just 1 by 2 mu square rho square plus 1 by power. Plus one by four lambda. Okay. <coughs> now multiply the above two brackets, and you will get. this with this. So it will be I rho uh, d mu omega d mu rho. Now this
least two. It will be uh, plus minus minus and I square will make you minus so it will be minus rho square. In our Lagrangian, we have the potential energy which was a half mu square plus 1 by 4 lambda hyperpath. And we want to, if we want to find the minimum value of the potential, you have to differentiate with respect to phi and equate it to 0. dv by d phi is equal to 0. Then only we get the minimum. <coughs> so, the position, uh, the value of the field which gives you the minimum position is obtained by this. So this gives you mu square phi plus lambda phi q. And since it's zero, it means we get phi, the minimum value of phi is minus mu square by lambda. And this minimum value uh, of the field, we used to denote this as V. The V here, uh, oh, no, 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 there is no V here, oh, new year here, new year. So, the, <laughs> this is the V, which is denoted, uh, minimum uh, value of the field was denoted as, so V square was mu square by lambda. So we write mu square as minus mu square lambda. So substitute here mu square minus mu square lambda square. So if we substitute there, this equation becomes This Lagrangian now becomes <coughs> now instead of mu square right minus v square. So this much means v square plus this will be one by two v square lambda rho square plus this fact plus one by two. Rho square del mu omega square and then the last part 1 by 4 lambda root power 4 
lambda so here we have uh, two type two <coughs> lagrangian this is the lagrangian of rho field and this is the lagrangian for omega field and this is the set rotation rotation energy so here we have you will find that it's a, like two types of field one is rho field and one is omega field this is the kinetic energy part the, the kinetic energy part of the rho field 1 by 2 del mu rho the kinetic energy of uh, of rho field this rho is the radius if we have we have the potential Lagrangian is kinetic energy minus potential energy, and this is the potential energy means uh, is in, the, in case of spring we know that this is 
half mv squared is half minus half kx squared and k is then uh, related to mass k is equal to m omega square square so this it means this is the mass part and this is the x square which is in the spring you have taken as a expression already so the mass here is indicates positive it means the mass is minus v square lambda so this is the potential energy of rho field of rho field associate uh, having mass this is <coughs> uh, mass minus v square by lambda under root which is which is imaginary and we know that this imaginary part means the, <coughs> the potential of this curve will be upside down instead of potential energy uh, in case of <coughs> v is equal to half kx square potential energy of this type we have but if it is a minus here the potential energy will be like this so it's the minus means the imaginary mass here and imaginary mass means the field is on the top here which cannot this unstable equilibrium field cannot stay here field has to fall here so this is <coughs> a imaginary <coughs> part and now the next is this is the kinetic energy part this is the vibration variation of the angular part of the field rotation of the field along this circle so this is gives you half rho square del nu omega square gives you the kinetic energy associated with Mass. 
So if we now shift our first, that's why uh, we have to break the symmetry because if you change the reference here, the symmetry will break. So after symmetry breaking, this the imaginary part which was considered here is now a real part. So if we now shift our we now shift our reference to the bottom of the value. Stand. Suppose <coughs> this, uh, uh, the, the radius we have discovered, uh, we have assumed as rho. If there is an increase in the rho uh, by say, when the particle is here, the, its radius increases. When the particle is here, the, its radius increases. Let the variation in the uh, radius is say by h. So its radius at least at maybe it's a b plus plus h or v minus h. Okay. So the v is this uh, minimum potential uh, distance of, of the minimum potential, the, the value of the field at the, the, sorry, the minimum potential. So this distance is v. So at any stand, its radius may be v plus h or v minus h. So if you write, uh, oh, okay. so we have the what Lagrangian which just dropped. So our Lagrangian was. Lambda v square rho square plus one by two plus one by two d nu square minus one by four lambda. Now it's here if you write uh, instead of rho we write say v plus h. Okay. And here also, everywhere is substituted instead of rho. If you write, <coughs> it's a, uh, v mu v plus h, this will be. But v is constant, so its derivative will be zero. So it will just, the first part is will be just v mu uh, h square. Because v is constant. Derivative will be zero, so h. 
Now here plus 1 by 2 lambda b square. And here we write b plus h whole square. Uh, plus here 1 by 2 uh, b plus h. minus 1 by 4 lambda uh, v plus h for the power It's only the angular rotation of the field, so its h is will be constant. So this this h is zero here. It's only v square because just it is a variation from this. It has fixed radius which is given by v. So it will be plus one by v square v. Minus one by four lambda <coughs> v to power four plus four v cube h plus six v square h square plus four v h cube plus h power four. Yeah, if, it's, if you multiply these all of them and do the calculations some of them will cancel out I am not doing those calculations here because of uh, to save this time I am just giving you the last result which, which you can do simply if you multiply this way multiply this multiply this multiply all these some of the terms will cancel out and we are left with this So this is simply a calculation which has nothing to do with it. So we are left with, if you bugged out all, we will get 1 by 2 d u h whole square minus lambda v square h square plus, plus this one 1 by 2 d square delta mu omega minus lambda v h cube minus lambda h to power 4 by 4 lambda h power 4 by 4 you get from here <coughs> then you will get uh, plus lambda v to power 4 by 4 from here, lambda v to power 4 from here and some of them will cancel out and some of them will add so this one lambda v square and uh, again you will get lambda and uh, you get lambda v square h square and worked out so you, you can do that, that calculations and we will get the result this one here lambda L is now this one a lambda is a constant if we have assumed the pressure as a scalar number V is also constant so this is simply a constant an addition to the level a constant number so we can omit this one and we'll see what are, we are getting the results here so it is 1 by 2 
delta mu h whole square minus minus lambda mu square h square okay plus 1 by 2 v square v mu omega whole square minus lambda v h q minus lambda h power 4 by so now now we we'll discuss these terms term by term this is the kinetic energy of h field it's obvious and this is the potential energy where the mass is this much square root of this will give you the mass mh square and this is the proportionality part so this is the kinetic energy of the vibration of the field along radial vibration and this is the potential energy proportionality uh, mass here now it's, it's find here that the mass is real here because it's minus and here minus can be square. So it's a, <coughs> it's a minus uh, a half m square omega square x square as we find in the spring case. So it's the mass here is the real values. So the <coughs> mass is given by under root lambda v square. Oh, 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 oh that's a half m so it will be root two, two times. And this is the kinetic energy part of a rotation field. <laughs> this is the kinetic energy of rotational field. And these are the self-interaction terms of the H field. So, <laughs> is the mass associated with the this we have uh, assumed that this field which is the vibration around this valley uh, which produce has as if, as if some mass is considered here and the ma real mass is vibrating here and that mass which is the real is called as a Higgs mass and the Higgs mass is given by lambda so the mass of Higgs is under root 2 lambda v square where v is the this distance and v is calculated v, um, v is the value of v is 246 GeV and uh, the mass and lambda is 0.12 this is scalar number and the mass of the Higgs comes out to be 125 GeV this is the mass discovered by uh, by Sonin 2012 so this is all so this is the uh, the Higgs mass, and this is the have only kinetic energy. It means the uh, the, uh, the field is perturbed uh, uh, angularly. It's angular vibration also produces a perturbation in the field, but this has no mass. It has no mass. So this is a massless any vi uh, vibration of the field will produce a massless particle that, that's why it has no potentiality and this produces uh, vibration along the radial part produces uh, 
uh, mass, real mass, which has this value. So it means we have two types of mass here. One is the real mass, which is called Higgs particle, and one, one which which is due to the rotation, angular rotation of the field, which has no mass. This is called cold stone bosons. So in the next class, we will see that there are three types of cold stone bosons because uh, here we have uh, the uh, field which we have considered as phi1 plus phi2. Phi this I, phi1 and phi2 has two components. Uh, <coughs> So in the next class we will soon see that this actually this is a, has four components. It's a four dimensional figure which cannot be drawn here in the product board. Okay, that's, that will be seen in the next class. Thank you.